Let's talk about the different types of nuclear radiation. You've heard the term radiation used a lot, and you probably think that all types of radiation are bad for you, but you're exposed to radiation every day. So limited exposure is okay. The three types of nuclear radiation we're going to talk about are alpha, beta, and gamma. Alpha radiation is made up of a helium nucleus. So in the nucleus of a helium atom are two protons and usually two neutrons, but no electrons. So the symbol for an alpha particle can be this Greek symbol that means alpha, or this notation that means a helium atom or helium nucleus. The charge on an alpha particle is plus two because remember it's a helium atom with no electrons. So there's no electrons to balance it out. Alpha particles don't carry as much energy so they're slow moving and non-penetrating. An alpha particle is actually highly ionizing and ionization is what causes damage to your cells. If atoms in your cells are ionized, that means electrons are added or taken away, and it can mutate the cells. Alpha particles are the most ionizing radiation, but they just don't penetrate. So they don't even go through your skin to get to the cells inside. Alpha particles are really only harmful if you inhale them or ingest them. Alpha particles are used in smoke alarms. In a smoke alarm, there's a tiny amount of americum decaying that's emitting, emitting alpha radiation between two sheets of metal. A small electric current is passed through the plates along the radiation. So the radiation allows the current to pass between the two plates. When there's smoke, it fills up the space between the two plates and doesn't allow the current to flow through. So when the current can't flow, the alarm goes off. beta particle is an electron. The symbol for it can be the Greek symbol that means beta or it can be the same symbol we've been using for electron. The charge on a beta particle is minus one. Beta particles move more quickly and they go further. They can be stopped by a piece of aluminum foil. So they're less ionizing than alpha particles but they can penetrate more. A lot of times, beta radiation is used in manufacturing to determine the thickness of foil or paper so it sees how much beta radiation gets through or can get stopped by it, and that's a way to measure the thickness. The last type of radiation is gamma radiation. The symbol is the Greek letter for gamma. almost looks like a Y. The charge is zero. It has no charge also has no mass. Gamma radiation is very high energy and very fast moving. To stop gamma radiation you need a block of lead or concrete. You'll learn when you talk about the electromagnetic spectrum that gamma radiation is an electromagnetic wave. So it has no mass. It is the least ionizing. So it's the least likely to add or remove electrons but it is the most penetrating so it can get to more of your cells. If you want to stop it with lead, you can stop it with one centimeter. But it takes several meters of concrete to stop it. We use gamma radiation to sterilize food because we can send the gamma radiation into the food and it kills all the bacteria and it doesn't leave the food radioactive or anything. The radiation goes away. Um, it's also used to kill cancer cells. When we use this kind of therapy, we focus the radiation directly on the cells we want to kill. So this is an overview of your types of nuclear radiation. It's important that you remember that in this order, you know, as you go down, energy increases and their danger increases. So gamma rays are the most dangerous and alpha radiation is the least dangerous.